every Caspa investor must watch this. 0.075 cents is imminent. Hello everybody, welcome back to another video. I'm Chris and today we are about to do our typical daily update about what happened in the Caspa price since yesterday. Also, we will see the rank, the market cap, the hash rate, the categories and the top addresses. And last week, we're going to close the video with the technical side of Caspa and also the technical side of Bitcoin. And I will show you something, guys, that every Caspa investor must watch and observe very carefully because I believe that this pattern, this specific pattern of Caspa will play out and will send Caspa straight to 0.075 cents. And no one is speaking about that. So if you're interested to know all of these things, all you have to do is to remain until the end of the video. And before we continue, I would like to clarify you that I'm not a financial advisor. Whatever that you're going to see in this video is my own personal opinion, my personal approach. Always do your own research before any kind of financial investment. And guys, if you're a Caspa enthusiast, Caspa holder, or Caspa investor, I highly recommend you to subscribe to my channel because daily I upload Caspa videos where I try to educate you and inform you with the latest news around Caspa and around the crypto space. So it's going to be very beneficial for you to have a subscribe to my channel. And without losing more time, let's get back to the video and start with the Caspa price that is starting today at 0.050 cents, where 3.2 two percent down it's a red day today uh, actually caspa finds big weakness to break the 0.053 cents area and get straight to new 88 but also guys you need to see that caspa is standing in a very bullish position as you can clearly see maybe we have find some weakness to break the 0.053 cents area but we are standing almost in the previous all-time high from the current position caspa is apart like uh seven percent from a new 88 that's not so big for a project with one billion market cap okay this can happen like anytime if we will see crazy buying pressure from nowhere that can send caspa straight into new 88 pretty pretty fast don't say that here this situation is bearish because it's not okay we are standing like where we were studying before caspa war and i would like to say here something because yesterday i saw a comment and i had to delete that because uh, this guy said inaccuracies about my words okay this guy said that i said that caspa actually has correlation with a war i didn't say that okay i said caspa dropped 20 percent because the war fad not because caspa has correlation with the war Okay, Caspa is decentralized, Caspa has no nationality, has no country behind. Caspa unite the people and not separate them. Uh, I did a couple tweets about that. I did many videos before that I was saying these things, okay, that Caspa has no correlation with the war. And actually, Caspa can go into new 88 and war actually can still be ongoing. I said that this drop happened because the war fed. Okay, that's a reality. Caspa actually dropped here 20% down the day that war announced. Caspa could not drop below the 0.048 cents and actually uh, got there and got way lower at 0.041 cents the day that actually war announced. And it was exactly this day here, 7th day of October. This is exactly what I said. Caspa has no correlation with the war. The fad is normal. Lots of people always uh, fadding around, always have fear, uncertainty and doubt for everything and they sell their bags for whatever reason. So that's a reality. Learn to separate the things and try to comprehensive some basic uh, principles that I tell you. Don't actually mess the things because you will never learn. Anyway, today uh, the rank remains 46 Guys, I will show you something by the end of the video in the technical side that you must watch. This is exactly why I dedicate this title in my video because I would like to show you something that will send Caspa to break the rank 40 and we will get below that something that is very, very powerful. And also, guys, I would like to show you the market cap that is starting at 1.1 billion and that's according to the total supply is very bullish okay this actually guys is a new 88 we have this total supply 21.3 billion and actually 1.1 billion market cap and caspa is studying in this price that's 
new 88s. Not from the price, but with the data that we have. We have more increase in the supply and more market cap. Supply increase and also demand increase. That's bullish, okay? That's very bullish. Uh, most of the times in the other cryptos, we see more uh, increase in the supply and the same demand, so the price drop a lot. In Caspa, we don't have these things. We see new supply every month because the monthly reduction, in seven days we have another reduction, more Caspa will come into the people's hands, more Caspa will be mined, so uh, if we will have the same demand in the next month, the price will drop, but the demand is always in increasement. That's why Caspa is always skyrocketing or uh, it's studying the prices like 5 cents, 0 0.051 cents and etc. Okay, you need to realize that. First pump that happened for Caspa, it happened at this area, uh, the early days of April, and we reached actually the 0 0.052 cents. This is not the same as we reached here after the war fad, the 0 0.041 cents. Okay, the price maybe is the same, but always you must rely in the total supply too. Back then we had less supply, 16 billion Caspa coins, and right now we have 21 billion Caspa coins. So as you understand here on this current situation, in, in the 0 0.041 cents area, we had more demand than we had back here. Okay, you need to know that and you need to separate the things. So right now we are at 1.1 billion, guys. Do your DCA, mark my words, because Casper will pan parabolic and you're going to lose the train. Casper will go, Casper market cap will go straight to 1.5 billion or even more. Okay, we can go anytime straight to uh, 2 billion. And then as you understand, the more increase that we have from now and then, that's gonna actually minimize the potential of maximum profits okay for the best profits as possible because if you buy like caspa with a market cap 5 billion to see a hundred x you will need to see caspa in very bull scenario like 500 billion by the next bull run peak something that as you understand the more late you buy uh the less probabilities you have for insane insane growth Okay, if you buy now, you're going to have 500 X. And if Casper will go straight to 500 billion by 2025, 2026. But if you buy at 5 billion, guys, you're going to make only 100 X. It's not bad, but probably you won't even hold until 500 billion to actually got clear 100 X. Anyway, that's for another topic. This is exactly what happened. Uh, since yesterday in the rank in the price of Caspa and also in the market cap and let's move straight into the hash rate that as you can clearly see hash rate is exactly the same as the previous days all-time high 56.75 peta has per second the current hash rate is 52.14 peta has per second uh, guys I told you that I believe that Caspa is about to increase the last days of November, early days of December because more A6 will be delivered in this period and actually more A6 machines are about to be plugged in into the Caspa network and that's going to drive the computational power straight into new levels. I believe after that we will see Caspa straight to 100 peta has per second. That's really bullish for the actual adoption, okay? This is very bullish to welcome more adoption and also for the protection of Caspa network. I don't like the projects that are ASIC resistant. That says that the protection of the network is not so safe. Uh, we need ASICs, guys. We need this huge computational power as much safety as possible. That's why I love Caspa because to handle the ASIC mining, they had this rapid emission schedule that is pretty pretty smart one of the smartest emission schedule plans that i have ever seen in the crypto space that's why i love caspa the best fundamental project that ever been created and you can clearly see already 73.50 percent uh, of the coins have already mined and that's really really bullish and let's go straight into the categories because as you can clearly see since yesterday we gained more wallets in octopus fish category um sark and whale category really bullish okay also the last 30 days you can clearly see how many new wallets have been added 
into uh, the CASPA, and that's a number that always will be in increasement. Okay, and I told you don't actually rely that much with the number specifically uh, in the last 24 hours because maybe a whale or a shark can split out their balance, the CASPA balance, into two, three, four, even 10 uh, different CASPA wallets. So don't rely that much in the 24 hours. We'll just do an update what happened since yesterday. If you would like to rely on something, rely in 30 days uh, percent. That's more accurate about how many new investors we gained since yesterday. The top 10 addresses, as you can clearly see, is exactly the same as yesterday. KuCoin first with approximately 840 millions. Caspa coins, lots of Caspa coins. And uh, this is not only the only one Caspa uh, KuCoin wallet. In the page six, they got another 37, 38 million Caspa coins. So uh, if you calculate all together, you will see Caspa has approximately 840 million Caspa coins. Lots of Caspa coins, lots of money here. We are speaking for multi-million investment from KuCoin. KuCoin is about to make billion profits from this kind of investment. They have understood completely Caspa. So guys, as you understand, uh, KuCoin is about to be very profitable by 2025 if they're going to hold until then all the Caspa coins. So maybe in the future you will see KuCoin as top tier one exchange and also Get.io can be at that category in the top tier exchanges because they're about to be very profitable from this single investment. Get.io also understood completely what's going on with Caspa. That's why they got this insane, insane investment in Caspa. They got approximately close to 1 billion of the total supply. That's crazy. These two exchanges are about to be very, very profitable. Billionaire wallets by 2025, 2026. Crazy. And also Mixi, if they, if they stop actually play these swing trades, I believe that Mixi will go straight to the Aquaman category. We saw in the past Mixi in this Aquaman category, and I believe Mixi is about to be there in the future too. BitGet, as you can clearly see, is stable in this position. I don't believe that, that they have any goal to buy more Caspa because they are in the same position for a very long and extended period. That's what's happening, guys, in the top addresses and also in the categories. Let's go into the technical side, into the interesting part. Guys, as you can clearly see, right now, this huge aggressive upturn movement is looking that is going to break this massive support of the 0 0.050 cents, okay, and maybe we will go lower. And some people right now are in fear why Caspa actually doesn't break the 0 0.053 cents and it's looking like it's stuck there. Guys, I would like to uh, tell you to do an out zoom, relax. We are here for the long run. Don't focus that much in the short term because that creates you anxiety. I will recommend you to just do your dollar cost average, do more research about Caspa. That's going to give you more confidence about what you hold. And I would like to tell you that if the support will break, we will go for a scenario that is going to be even more bullish, even the technical side, okay? Because right now it seems that the technical side isn't with us, but if you out zoom and actually if I clear out all of this uh, mess that I have here and right now guys I will move into the most interesting part. This is exactly what every Caspa investor must watch because here we are forming a huge ascending triangle in the daily time frame. For those who don't know, ascending triangle is very bullish pattern. And you can clearly see here the resistance is at approximately area of 0 0.052, 53 cents. And uh, you can clearly see we have retest that multiple times to break that and actually reach new 88, something that will show Caspa at 0 0.055 cents, 56 cents. So guys, the interesting part here is that if Caspa will do a reversal, 
that's not gonna be a disaster scenario because look at this if Casper will do a reversal we'll go back to 0.047 cents within 0.049 cents and that's gonna be even more bullish because we're gonna have here three touch points of the support and in the potential bounce that I believe like 90% is gonna happen this bounce guys Casper will go straight and it's gonna break this massive resistance and it's gonna go parabolic all everyone traders uh, investors uh, whatever kind of Caspa uh, enthusiast will buy massively at that point and guys Caspa will skyrocket into unprecedented levels because until all this scenario will play out I believe we will see a new exchange listing and I believe it's gonna be medium to big exchange okay not the top tier ones but a hobby is a good exchange for us as Casper investors because we'll list Casper properly in the coin market cap, a reliable exchange according to the coin market cap and Binance side, okay? Because obviously coin market cap owned by Binance. So uh, to see Casper properly listed into coin market cap, we will need one more exchange, one more reliable exchange according to them. And Huobi is one of these exchanges. So if Huobi will list Casper, in the next coming uh, days or weeks, guys, that's going to be very bullish because then Caspa will be listed properly in the coin market cap. That's going to drive crazy FOMO. Uh, that's going to actually make the traders, everyone, to trade Caspa with long positions, especially if we're going to break this resistance, this resistance of this ascending triangle. So everything in Caspa will look extremely bullish, extremely bullish. So. Uh, someone will tell me here right now, okay, Chris, give us the technical price target. Guys, the technical price target of this ascending big triangle is massive. You can clearly see by yourself that right now we are speaking for a technical price target straight to 0.073 cents that I believe personally that if we will break this resistance and we will see good news from a fundamental side with an exchange listing like Huobi, we will have very bullish news, fundamentals, technicals, everything. Everyone will buy like crazy Caspa and Caspa will not only reach the 0.073 cents, but I believe we will reach straight the 0.075 cents. Extremely bullish situation and this is exactly what i believe is going to happen i believe that this scenario will play out at 90 percent 80 percent probabilities to see this scenario straight to 0.075 cents except if you're going to see a black swan from nowhere very big bad fundamental news for the crypto space something that will collapse bitcoin under thirty thousand dollars or will set bitcoin back to $25,000 only in that case I can see not playing out this scenario this is something that you need to watch and observe we're gonna watch that every day because I believe it's gonna play out and it's gonna break this 0.053 cents if Casper will go back and actually bounce from that okay this bounce here is gonna be very very strong and the pump here after the breakout of the 0.053 cents is about to be parabolic but obviously we will see any exchange listing news like tomorrow obviously we won't need to get back to 0.049 cents or 48 cents to bounce okay obviously we can pump from the point that we are standing right now too okay you need to separate the things and let's go guys into the technical side of bitcoin because as you can clearly see, Bitcoin is moving as I told you, as I was expecting. I told you even from the second day of this very parabolic pump of Bitcoin that we will move with a consolidation phase the next coming days, something that Bitcoin will form a bull flag until we're actually going to break the resistance and going to get straight from $37,000 up to $40 thousand dollars but guys i told you that if this scenario will play out and actually bitcoin will uh, break the resistance of thirty four thousand eight hundred dollars we will go into a level that subsequently will do huge correction the, i believe this is not the beginning of the bull run okay i believe that we will have a very big crash uh something that let's say if bitcoin will be straight to $38,000, $39,000, or even $40,000, the crash that can happen, it's gonna be like 
back to this $31,250 for a retest, okay? And that's big damp, okay? That's big uh, correction, that's like 22% down, and you will see by that time if this will happen and we will see a, a big asset like Bitcoin to do 22% drop, that's a lot, okay? That, that's gonna create lots of fad, lots of fear, and all of these things, but I believe, guys, that if we won't come back to this uh, $31,250 from the current position that we are standing, from the current kind of bull flag position that we are forming here, because this is also a possible scenario that can play out, okay? Instead of pump to the upside straight to 37,000 within $40,000 area, we can actually come back to this $31,250 and then uh, we can bounce to $40,000, okay? Also, this scenario can play out. So I believe that no matter the time, we will come back to retest this massive and huge support, okay? Previously, it was a very strong and crucial resistance that since we broke the 200 daily moving average and we uh, remain above that, we broke that very, very strongly. That's why the current situation is very positive. You can clearly see in the past, we tried lots of times to actually break that $31,250, but always we had weakness to actually surpass and stay above that. But now we did that and and I highly believe that we will come back down there for a retest. Now or later, it doesn't matter. I highly believe that even if Bitcoin will pump to $40,000, it's not going to be the beginning of the bull run. We will see first some kind of bad news that will collapse the Bitcoin price. And then we're going to start building the bull run territory uh, for the bull run that will come of the 2025 and 2026 where I believe it's going to be the peak of that bull run. Anyway, guys, this is exactly what I would like to tell you. I hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to check my Wealthnet Patreon group. Okay, this is my Patreon group where uh, you're going to find a Discord community and that group designed to help you build a proper crypto investing mindset. And with that guidance that you will have from me and also from other people, multimillionaires, business owners, uh, crypto experts, crypto YouTubers, you can avoid massive mistakes that can set you broke even by the bull run. Not everyone makes money in the crypto space. Even in a bull run, lots of people do mistakes. And if you're a beginner investor or intermediate investor, I highly recommend you to join in our family. You're going to hang out with sharks, not with shrimps. Something that will put you in the right path of prosperity. Especially, guys, it's highly recommended, especially if you're a Casper investor, to join. Okay, we're going to be all together and a group of people is always stronger than moving alone. Okay, always remember that. And guys, if you are looking for further more benefits, I recommend you to join into the inner cycle of Wealthnet. You can join via Lifetime and the payment is via Crypto, Caspa. So you can send an email to Wealthnet Crypto gmail.com with a brief introduction about yourself because not everyone is accessible in the lifetime uh it's the inner cycle of wealthnets if you're going to be eligible you're going to be able to hang with the inner cycle too and also guys don't forget to check and also guys in the question that i get asked a lot chris where you store your caspa where you store your cryptos the safest way guys the safest way is cold storage, okay, you need to buy a cold storage and put your cryptos and your Caspa there. And for the Caspa and also for my cryptos, I got everything in Tadzim wallet. Tadzim, I believe, is the best company, the best cold storage company that uh, you should have. And with a discount code CryptoCris, you will have 10% off in your purchase. If you click here, the link of Tadzim, it's going to get you straight into the site. You're going to press here get Tadzim. I recommend you three card set instead of two card set. Two card set is cheaper, but three cards, guys, is safer, okay? You have more cards to play around, okay? It's not like only two, because with two, you lose one, you're gonna have only one. If you have three, if you lose one, no problem, you got another two. Anyway, put here the crypto Chris code, as you can clearly see, you're gonna have 10% off and that's going to be really awesome 
So that's what I would like to tell you guys. Let me know down below in the comment section if you have any question and I will see you all in my next video. Until my next video, your boy Chris out. Bye.